Misfits Podcast episode what? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping you would know. 100 and something. <laughs> Rated yeah. five stars on YouTube by Connor Newsom. He says, I'm private contractor that spend most of my time on the road. Thanks for being my alternative to Coke. Oh, that's, um, you're very welcome. Yeah. That's nice. You're, you're welcome. very welcome. And we Save could be your, your alternatives to Coke as well. If you're ever at a party and you feel like being chatty, just go into the bathroom and listen to five minutes of this shit, and I guarantee you you'll have something to talk about. But man, hey, I so I just listen to this really fucking awful <laughs> podcast in the bathroom <laughs> for five minutes. Swagger Souls is here. Uh, hello. Matt is here. Hey, yo, what it do? Toby is present. Present. And Jay is are you present? Just wondering what that order was. What order? I was getting prepared to go after Matt, and it was just a yeah, curveball straight yeah. to Toby, and I was just <laughs> kind of like, I, I got ready, and we now, now I, I like to say. The but I'm the here. Table. You're here. Yeah. And I'm here, too. My name's Fitz, and this is the show where we're going to talk about a mentally ill person for a okay, while. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, so for the, uh, for the audio listeners... Adore you, just you're, you're great. But if why you, do you always say that? If you if you were if you were uh, watching the show uh, with your eyeballs, you can notice a nice little picture up on our big screen. That is any guesses from the table? Um, mm. Jesus Christ, Jackie Jesus Chan. Christ, Ash Jackie Chan. Ash yeah, look at it. Well, okay, well, James you're Corden. You're close. Ooh. Oh, you know what could yeah. be? That looks like a young James Corden. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the most documented man. Uh, now woman in history besides Jesus and Hitler. And James Corden. And James, and James Corden. Corden. <laughs> wow. This That's person man. fucking crazy. This person is known as Christian Weston Chandler, or rather was known as that. Um they are the author and illustrator of the number one hit comic book series <laughs> Sonichu. Oh, and, and that's crazy. Oh. I've never heard. That is what they're about. most known for. That's what they're the most documented person, uh -huh. uh, you know, behind Hitler and, and Jesus. It's because of the hit comic book series. Well, it must be a pretty good comic. Must be yeah. some compelling so today, literature. We're just going to be dissecting some of his comics and going we, through yeah. how beautiful it no, is. No, we're, we're going okay. to be going over the comprehensive history of Christian Weston Chandler. Yeah, what, what have you been referring to it as? Um, the Christory. I love that. The Christory. Christory. Yeah. Can you are Christen you a, us? Can you Christen you? Are you a Christorian? I, I I would say that I am an amateur Christorian. Mm. I'm You're not, an aspiring Christorian. I'm not You're a, a hobbyist Christorian. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a I'm not a Christographer or okay. anything like that. Mm. But I have a, I have a pretty good idea. I was around during a lot of when this was just starting. So wait, you were alive in 2007. I was alive in 2007. No believe it or not, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, right. Yeah, like, <laughs> that does feel like it. It's not a thing, right? 2007 yeah. is that even a real year? No. Right? Yeah, no. too many years know. ago. Yeah, but yeah. So basically, it all started, I think, in 2007, where there was there was this one forum that I don't think is as prevalent as it was back then, but it was called the Something Awful Forum. And it was this forum where everyone would go and talk about fuck shit or make fun of people. A lot of, a lot of trolls back in the day would mm -hmm. reside in something awful. And so somebody going to a college, I forgot this specific college, but there was this really weird guy with, you know, who had an oafish appearance. You had like a really weird fashion sense, clearly autistic uh, to, to, uh, to a degree. And they they spoke about their interactions with him that he would go around the campus putting up flyers or asking women um, if they were a boyfriend free girl. Oh, um, boyfriend. A man was, of ambition. He was an ambitious okay. man. He was lonely as you get in college, and you know he he had a lot of hobbies. So it's not like he was a loser. He played Magic the Gathering. Um, he 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 wrote and illustrated yep. his own comic book series yeah. this which, is not his illustration by the way no this is not this is not we, this his is not his art oh, yeah, this illustration yeah can if we, we get, if we can get mitchell to pull uh, an actual sample of uh, oh. christian's work right here there it is oh, oh, oh. I see. that yeah, is I episode see. that that is issue 15 it's honestly better than i thought it would it's issue 15 but yeah it is drawn in colored pencils and crayons and markers and it's copyright. quite well done so you can see there question mark question mark question mark what it's is that quite copyright well done. it's uh it's called sonichu and on the cover it says go sonichu go out and zap to the extreme this is a woman talking and then what appears to be sonichu says yes i will thank you mother yeah, so, so that's presumably that his mom. That's cool. But yeah, so... Oh, is, 
Yep. Oh, that's, oh. The so that's the first yeah, edition. The first this first is, first is first. the first oh. edition. Oh, wow. Wait, does it always um, say the same the thing whole, on the cover? It's the whole thing. Damn, that'd be worth a no, lot of money. No, no, it wouldn't. But, you know, this is just an idea of the, of the skill at the time that he had. Wait, so how old is he when he did this? He would have been Three? in his 20s. So <laughs> I, I, I want to hate on it, but so, it actually no, it's like, like, it appears to be pretty well put together. And cohesive, like so. You know, I thought the drawings would be way worse. I based on everything he's I've in been his thirties, but he was born. Now I was talking about a fun fact uh, before we started yeah, the sorry. show. Uh, Matt, the, <laughs> you'll appreciate this. Well, I'm not he was, appreciate this. He was born on February twenty fourth. Oh God! So he no. shares a birthday oh, no. with me and Matt. Really? Oh, wow. oh. Yes, he does. That's wow. nice. Yes, he does. A lot. <laughs> Well, Which now we've got to celebrate for three every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That but, means yeah. that you two are never going to be the most famous people. To we'll have never be the most oh, famous. Sure. Yeah. We'll never be the most documented, documented yeah. either. Famous mm-hmm. birthdays. Um, He's going to be number one up there so, now. <laughs> so, you know, upon, like, people kind of finding him on something awful, people looking into him, they, they found out his name. And then they, you know, looked it up and they saw that he had a like like a website, which at the time would have been fucking abysmal HTML like garbage. But he had Sonichu on there. And to the people in the something awful forums, they looked at this and they were like, This is gold. We've never seen somebody so mentally ill equipped. And so <laughs> Naturally, at the time, you know, this is in 2007, where there was zero moral compass on the internet. Everything was about bullying. Everything yeah. was about bullying. Hmm. Um, so they dug deeper and deeper, and there's so many interesting little quirks about about Christian. So Christian, at, 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 at this period of time, was really looking into uh, getting a, a, a girlfriend, a, a, a quote-unquote yeah. boyfriend-free girl. And he had this list of requirements on his website and then also that he would put on flyers, if I recall correctly, all around his college campus. Uh, Mitchell, can you pull up the requirements um, that, that <laughs> Chris... No you know, Chris... Wrong. One of the flyers here. Christian is not a fucking idiot and he has standards, believe me. Here we go. Um, so it, this is really hard to read. Yeah, but this, this is one of the flyers. T- 21 and single white male... Seeking a cute 18 to 21-year-old okay. single female companion. Then okay. there's a lot of shit I can't read. If any men and... Uh, read this huge sign, mind your own business. Wow, very clear um, to the point. Yeah. Which is great. There's I another flyer that. there. He's looking for a boyfriend, free girl. One girl I am yes. lonesome. Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, there's another one right here. I, I'm a 23-year-old single male searching for an 18 to 23-year-old female companion who I can love and trust. Oh, he That's did that sweet. one in clip art. That one's got yep. effort. So There's sad. another one. This, this is, is for the very shy man. This is the beautiful imagery. Wow, now he's... Do you have the, the wow. but do you have the actual like requirements, the list that he wrote out on his website? Because uh, oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, here it is. Okay. Wow. So you if you okay, ladies, if you were alive at this time, <laughs> you can see if you yourself qualified to okay. date this gorgeous hunk. So totally. I got my we'll hands see. out. I'm gonna I'm gonna put them down every time okay. I So you need to be eighteen or mm. older. Or older? Okay. Yeah, okay. Decent older requirement. Girls. Uh, boyfriend free. I got a girlfriend. So good, we're good. Fine. Boyfriend free. Blonde oh. or brunette? Yeah, brunette. Yeah, very oh. good. Uh, white. You need to be white. You have to be white. Yeah. You so, are okay. white, right? Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, you need to be pretty. Oh, I can't make <laughs> <that> <laughs> judgment. I, I, I tell you, very I, pretty. I say you're pretty. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Average or slender oh. body type? Mm. Maybe. Oh, might have you're... to put a finger down. <laughs> 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 um. <laughs> Five foot or taller? Pretty sure. Pretty sure, good. No smoking or drinking? Right. Uh, does vaping count? <laughs> you'd, have to, you'd have to ask Chris. I don't think I could tell me he wouldn't like yeah. the vape. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Okay. Um, lives in Charlottesville. Yeah, yeah, Charlottesville oh, area. Okay, got that. Um, uh, has own car. I got two of them, so uh, he yeah. can have one good. too. Average <laughs> to high <laughs> income. income. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. I make billions. <laughs> um, and then ha- happy, positive, or caring? I'd say Wait, you said or happy, <laughs> positive, caring. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're, you're quite and then, happy. and then these what are the fi- bottom <laughs> ones. What are the bottom ones? These final <laughs> two were added in after the fact for clarification, okay, mind you. Yeah. Um, no children from previous relationships. Okay. And the 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 most interesting <laughs> one is 
is no autism. Okay. High functioning or otherwise. Wait, so, even, so you can't even be high functioning? You can't even, no, you cannot even be high. You can have zero autism, which uh. is quizzical, considering that this man definitely had autism. Well, he, he knows how bad it is. He doesn't want to have a <laughs> It's not, it's not. Well, he, well, maybe he clearly, needs someone to take care of him. Clearly in his experience, he, he's not a fan of the autism. And yeah. So he, I, I don't think this is a Chad move. This guy knows exactly what he wants. He's written out a bullet point list and he's looking for the right girl to come along. Yeah. Yeah, Chris at the time would have been the earliest seen uh, example of a Sigma male. Sigma male, yeah. <laughs> the All early, right. Like a lone wolf, yeah. but follows an alpha hierarchical structure yeah i love it and listen we're going to delve into this guy's life a little bit on the podcast by the looks of things but i want to establish um i want to jump forward in the timeline and oh, establish yeah. why we're talking about chris yeah Chan please to do. people who are uninformed because otherwise we might be at risk of looking like we're just bullying a, dis- <laughs> a very <laughs> troubled person yeah um, you can say disabled you could say yeah. autistic you could autistic, say disabled. you, know, you could say mentally unhinged he's a troubled and puzzling fellow uh and yeah so far in the podcast we've sort of outlined a few details yeah but he's recently cropped up again in the news because he, he raped, raped his mother, mother. allegedly his mother. allegedly charges allegedly. were filed but they haven't gone to court so you said allegedly but he allegedly. also admitted to it Alle- you can't say that he raped his mom she raped her mom because at this point in time she's Chris- christine weston yeah. chandler yeah um Otherwise known as Sonichu. Yeah. Uh, changed name. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, you, you okay. can't just say <laughs> that she raped her mother. Like, allegedly. Okay. You have to say allegedly. Okay. So, just so everyone is clear, she allegedly raped her dementia mother. Dementia, dementia ridden mother. How Ale- old is she now? How old is Chris Chan? Chris Chan would be in her 30s. And how old is the yeah. mother? 30s. I think. How, how old is 39? the mother? Is the mother oh Mitchell? My goodness, thirty nine. Yeah. How old is uh, her uh, name? What was her name again? Barbara. 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 Uh, she's at least in her eighties. In her eighties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eighty year old. You got to answer for the little billboard question. It said eighteen to blank, so you could just yeah. put the eighty in yeah. there. Yeah. It kind of seems yeah. like Chris Chan's broken a couple of his rules yeah. here with his eighty year old dementia ridden <laughs> mother thing. But, <laughs> but okay, she is boyfriend free and doesn't have autism. Yeah. True. Yeah. Right. So anyway, well, yeah, Chris Chan's this in the is, news this for is this. why right. we're talking about it. Chris Chan since um, admitting to <laughs> essentially raping his mother um, uh, has been charged with incest and is now awaiting trial. Yep. Uh, which is which is just fantastic. Um, <laughs> sure. And, uh, <laughs> the getting arrested part. It's I the bad either. ending. Yeah, but it's it just the bad ending. I mean, there were multiple bad endings before this. It was just like the cherry on top. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of sad that this, you know, for at least the next ten years or so, he's not going to be around. Oh, that's around. the sad part, not the part about him raping his mother. <laughs> well, well, I mean, you know, it, it's it's sad, but you know, like. I, I, I find the bigger L is that, you know, now he's deprived the world of, 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 of him, her. Yeah. Do they have, Chris like, Dream. internet access in jail? P- yeah, maybe. I mean, they, the have, they have A4 pay- maybe, a maybe, maybe she'll continue writing mm. Sonic you in jail. I, I also want to say that, uh, as Swagger mentioned at the beginning, one of the most documented people in history. So in our podcast, there's going to be a lot that's going to be left out because... Yeah. yeah, there's and, a lot to it, and probably and a may, lot that's wrong. There may be a lot of stuff that's wrong. If you, uh, if if you don't have a job and you're not uh, getting educated and you have just a fuck ton of free time, yeah, perhaps fifty hours of yeah, free time. Um, go online and look <laughs> wow. at the comprehensive, the comprehensive full picture of the, of the Chris Chan saga. It is, it is, it is fucking incredible. Fifty, yeah. um, fifty episode documentary. So, kind of seems you know, like his life is just a. Uh, but the thing is. Oh, go ahead. Just the, I was gonna say it's like it's like a choose your own adventure book, but you're yeah. just choosing all the wrong, <laughs> but, all yeah. the Fucks worst so all the, time. the thing, you know, because you might be asking as a viewer, like, why the fuck do I, you know, do I care about a, you know, some some autistic gentleman who is just writing a science you comic, and in that alone in itself, it's like you can kind of look at it and be like that, that's funny or whatever, or you can laugh at it. But a lot of people back in two thousand and seven um, took this to. Uh, a complete extreme, um, and and I I don't condone <laughs> this behavior whatsoever because you know at, at the end of the day the guy was you know mentally impaired 
uh, wasn't really able to, you know, deal with things the way that other people would. And he was the subject of a brutal targeted harassment campaign from online trolls. Mm. Um, but because he had, you know, his parents weren't involved in the Internet space, there was nobody he had as a friend who could, you know, tell him, like, hey, you're, you shouldn't do any of this. You should probably get off the Internet. He, uh, he, was, he was manipulated by trolls. He, fe- he fed into a lot of the trolls. He, there, was, there was one specific thing I recall. Uh, trolls pretending... To be boyfriend-free girls, oh. you know, responding no. to the <laughs> online no. application, yeah. and so they would gain uh, Chris's trust. Uh, Chris even went so far as to draw like little uh, pictures of him and this, you know, uh, essential pen pen pal, yeah. uh, like getting married and, and all that shit, and like being like. And at the time, <laughs> uh, Chris made a medallion. Out of, uh, I believe it was clay or Play-Doh. Uh, it was a, it was a Sonichu medallion that and he would Sonichu wear. And Sonichu is a mix between Sonic yes, and Pikachu. Yes, yeah, we yes. should yes. explain that right at the back. Yeah. That's what that is, by yeah, the way. So, yeah, Sonichu. Yeah, Sonichu was his own creation. Um, Very original. They're always talking know. about Sonichu like it's just an established yeah. thing. So it yeah, looks yeah. fucking awesome, though. <laughs> like. Kind of a, a genius <laughs> creation. <laughs> I'd read the comics. Yeah. But no, um, he had this medallion made out of Play-Doh or something similar. Probably it was like clay. colored clay. Yeah. And um, that he, he said that this medallion that he wore was the source of all of his power. It was what he entrusted like all of his energy and yada yada in. Mm. And mm. It, it so turns out that the pen pal that was writing and was like, you know, please send me your Sonny True medallion that I know we're for real, et cetera, et cetera. And so Chris, being taken advantage of, sent over his Sonny True medallion in the mail and in response received a video of this guy breaking it with a hammer and like ah, lighting so it on fire, which yeah. is fucking so awful. So fucked up. Which yeah. is like, I don't think there's personally anything funny about this, no. but I'm, I'm merely explaining the amount of it was it was a it was years long of targeted harassment towards this guy mm. and the way that he would uh deal with this just fascinated people to, and his reaction just you know kept bringing these people back and they couldn't stop because it was just so entertaining for them at the time uh there was like there was there was there was a saw guy where where like uh, he would go to this 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 fucking game convention thing. Like it wasn't a convention; it was like this fucking comic book store. You play Magic the Gathering and shit. Mm-hmm. And um, I think people tried to uh, frame the owner of the store as the mastermind behind. Oh, like all- him and his parents both. Yeah, him and it. his parents both. So it was Chris and his two parents were under the impression that the guy who owned this comic book store was behind the harassment, uh, and oh, no. that guy. Chris banned ultimately because, like, you know, he flipped down the store and then he got banned permanently from this, you know, from like the only, his, his only outlet for social interaction. Because after all the shit on campus, there was a lot of shit on campus, uh, apparently that, that caused him to get uh, removed. So he didn't have uni anymore and then he didn't have his comic book stuff. And so all he had was this comic book, Sonic You, to, to write. And the early the early episodes of the Sonic Two comic was just you know there's him uh, you know C W C uh, which is like the mayor of this town and the father of Sonic Two and it was all wholesome and fun adventures and whatever and then it took such a dark dark Ooh. fucking turn. Wait, really? It <laughs> took it took a it, there's a lie there's a lie that I'm remembering now. But I, I can't properly explain. It was like there were there. Pull, pull up the torture. What? So, so, pull so, up, pull uh, up the torture in the comics. It was, the darkness that yeah, was so, creeping into so he, his life. Yeah, he was manifested wrote, on the page. Yeah, wow. so he self-inserted and he wrote uh, into uh, his his comic book the trolls that were harassing him. And oh yeah, and, wasn't one like the lady at college or something? Yeah, th- there was one woman that he that he was obsessed with, uh, obsessed to the point where he would draw in his comics him, you know, fingering her, fucking doing whatever. Nice. And, <laughs> <laughs> 
and and people saw this and actually she being rated. trolls brought it to her attention and she was like his only female friend and then you know she no. just said fuck this she actually talked to the uh, college about it and I think that's what got him removed if I recall correctly hmm. but but yeah so he kept writing her in as this fucking mega villain like this mega villain and then After she that, had all she the trolls all the trolls and shit but they were they were the main villains and there was this one part in the in the comic series where um they were getting like tortured like in in like <laughs> crazy ways graphic detail I want to know very, what very ways graphic. Uh, pull it up Mitchell come on I'm sorry the website's so slow it's not loading <laughs> um, <laughs> you, you were talking uh, briefly about uh, the, the trolls gaining his trust pretending to be boyfriendless girls uh, when I came in earlier I was the that's a hell of a way to, way to say single girl. women isn't it yeah <laughs> so boyfriendless girl. girls hey, girl. boyfriend, free you got girl. a boyfriend <laughs> uh, 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 Mitchell was trying to find a backdrop for the for the um, projector behind us, right? And uh, he was scrolling through images, and there was a image of him laying on a bed, fucking a blow up doll. Oh, Officer Nasty, yeah, or Mr. Nasty. So it was, huh? it was it was this video of him fucking a blow up doll. Yep. And what uh, happened? Okay. What what I was told had happened yeah. was someone had gained his trust, pretending to be a girl. And then he made this v video for them of him fucking a blow up doll oh, no. and saying like, this is what I would do to you. Uh, oh no. <laughs> and um, the, yeah, it, it's <sighs> there's just, like, there's straight up just yeah. videos of him. Oh yeah, didn't that, yeah. Didn't that person blackmail and, him? And fucking blow up dolls and stuff. No, Jesus. no, he, he didn't even need to be blackmailed. The thing is when everyone started to find out who he was and, you know, started talking about him, there was this thing. There was this, there was this very clever strategy that these trolls used back, way back in the day where they had one guy say that he was the real Kristen Weston Chandler and that the actual Chris was fake. And so he like he would get artists to draw like Christian West and Chandler like, way better than Chris did, and like show all this stuff. And be like, no, this guy isn't real. And so they 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 tricked him into <laughs> like like proving his identity, giving away all of his personal information. Oh, oh my um, God. And wow. then and then he even went, he went steps further than that by <laughs> like releasing all these weird uh, like details about his life and his and and like sexual <laughs> shit. And 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 when I, I think he he explained it that he was. He was performing an information overload. Uh, <laughs> so that people, I, I don't know what his strategy was. Obviously, he well, wasn't coming from a place of lucidity, yeah. but it was still interesting nonetheless. Do we think that on some level, like, there was something that he was getting out of all the attention, or is it always him, like, rejecting it? Because you'd think that if all this stuff was happening to him and he was getting yeah. such a negative response from the internet that he would just disappear but it seems that he kind of leans continues to lean into it's it it's because a lot it. of there were a lot of trolls that pretended to be fans or you right. know pretended uh, to yeah, you know right. be like we love you don't you know don't go think of it you know and, all of our and fans. did he want to be famous i don't know in a good way i'm not sure mm. i know he wanted to pursue sonic you clearly wanted lonely. that to be so. you know his his big thing mm. but no he definitely <laughs> definitely yeah um interesting though fuck man <laughs> there's so much to That's cover crazy there's so much. Tip of the iceberg uh here i have a little bit for you guys uh so this was his teacher mary lee uh and he wrote about her in sonichu right uh, yeah mary lee walsh yeah are you sure that was the teacher i thought that was the the girl yeah so mary lee walsh was the teacher that told um Chris that he was autistic and he won't be able to do anything with, with his life so so he really resented so her oh. uh, and he also for some reason drew her fingering oh! herself oh. <laughs> come and lick my pussy my jerk cop slave yeah yeah jerk cops is what he called like mall cops and uh, and police officers that would tell him to leave the college campus were like stores. Bro, that those a, dimensions are all out of whack, all I'm saying. That's a big uh, push. I, I actually think it's pretty decent. Bro, that <laughs> like, pussy goes all the way up to her belly button. Yeah, true, but like, you know. Perspective, man. You never know. Perspective. <laughs> Everything else. Oh, my, perspective. Yeah. I, there's definitely some artistic integrity to his drawings. Yeah, okay? I'm just saying he has a style. Plenty, yeah, plenty of artistic <laughs> integrity. Did I say that? No, I did. Uh, <laughs> good, good, good. It means the same either way. 
This yeah, is in this it, sense. very, very peculiar. Do you have those torture scenes that he that he drew up? I'm uh, sorry, I'm audio trying, listeners. I'm trying to find like, them, but it's just so. The, there's a lot. Well, we'll yeah, there's a lot. Isn't there a deal with like Billy Mays or something? Like one of the people blackmailing him with the sex tape was like. Originally, he's like the mayor and shit of like his own fantasy world, but he's like, no, change it to be Billy Mays and wanted Billy Mays to be canon in his comic books or some shit. Oh, I can't even remember. I can't remember <laughs> so that much. part of it, but there's a lot. There's there's a whole hell of a lot that transpired in the universe and out of the universe. Yeah, we were saying before the podcast that there's there's so much shit that has come out about him that it honestly feels like we could make shit up and then it would turn out to be true. <laughs> it's just so... There's so much shit. There, there is an incredible amount of detail if anybody's wondering like if you want like a real like hour-long pretty good tldr of chris up into a point i would highly recommend checking out frederick knudsen's video it's frederick <coughs> k-n-u-d-s-o-n he has a, a video series called down the rabbit hole they're all very good but look look up the sonic you one the chris and wes and chandler one the whole uh time the all, all the stuff was happening and him getting bullied by the internet he was still making the comics he was still making the comics you're still chugging along so it, you know at a point what else do you do so let's well, talk about the premise of the comic yeah like, what, what, I, what's, I, the, what's the go with that i think it's important to note that uh chris thought all the popularity was for his comic book not for him he thought right. these people were fans of his comic whereas they were just trolling him and right. her, uh, like uh, he was getting like attention just for him not for his comic wow interesting so you people hope, would like pretend to ride him and be like i love the comic so much yeah get a lot of yeah false get positivity a lot of fan mail so so, so the comic is sonichu yeah so, like the overarching theme is sonic with well Pikachu the combined first, the first heat. couple episodes were about sonichu as a whole it was just the focus was on sonichu this Sonic mixed <laughs> mixed with Pikachu. Right. Um Just that would go out on crazy wacky adventures. But the more the more that his life started to degrade over time and the more stressed out and worse his quality of life became, the more the focus of his comic book shifted from Sonic Chu entirely to him. Uh, mm-hmm. and then the comic book served as a way for him to self insert and a way for him to deal with uh, his stress, his anxiety, his anger. So we're talking about art here. This is, this, I'm not denying the fact that this is art. This is probably, this this shit, if, yeah. if Chris, like, it ends up passing away, this belongs in the Museum of Modern Art. Yeah, like, like I all of this his is fucking genuine comics. human I saw expression a, right here. I saw a comment the other day that was like, in 200 years, people are going to be referring to this guy like Da Vinci. Like, yeah, yeah dude. If, if, yeah. For very <laughs> misunderstood reasons. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Just me a, a very Van Gogh. legitimate reasons. <laughs> but, you know, the, the, the thing is, it went from Sonichu being the star to Chris being the star of the Sonichu comic. Yeah, and then whenever right. Sonichu came in, it would be like more of a cameo. Like he's but, coming in for an appearance but doesn't he also identify as Sonichu nowadays he she does identify as as Sonichu she thinks that her and Sonichu were the the same person to my understanding I could be really pissing off the the Christorians uh, by getting this wrong but that's the general understanding but that's the nowadays doesn't she think that because uh, some trolls convinced her that 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 is what she was. She is I Sonichu. Uh, yeah, some trolls convinced her that the, the dimensions uh, merged, and uh, he uh, she Son- had been the, the Sonichu dimension and the multiverse. The yeah, our real dimension ha- ha- have merged, and Chris is Sonichu. Yeah, yeah, and a huh. deity, and a deity. Yeah. Mm. So it seems like Chris really had quite a childlike imagination. Yes, and was just so easily manipulated, and manipulated by these yeah. trolls. And it's it's an excellent case study. It it is it really is an excellent case study of right. you know being online like getting trolled like that, giving into it. You know, you know, it just it shows like how easily it was back then to get absolutely fucked on the internet. Like right. have your life really messed with by strangers on the internet, mm. which is why it's so fascinating. Like. When I look at Christian or, you know, I look at Sonichu and I look at the whole saga and I look at all of that, like, I don't laugh at his expense. And, and like, I only laugh because a lot of it's ridiculous and a lot of it's awful. And that's my only way to cope is to you know, find humor in it. But when you look at it from a real, like, objective perspective from the very beginning, 
It is it is sort of fucking gross. It is yeah. really, really, really wrong that they took advantage of just some fucking guy. Yeah. Yeah. Just some random some random um, you know, vulnerable person. Mm. Um but the more and more like the the story progresses, the worse it is for me to empathize with Chris. Because you mm. can, like, at a point, you can very easily tell, like, the guy, you, then girl now, went completely off the fucking deep end. Like, it was, it was, um, there, there were periods of activity on and off with the whole comic book thing and, like, drawing people he knew in real life in really sexual ways or getting tortured or the heads cut off or whatever. And then there were periods of silence. There were periods of inactivity. And then I think... I I personally stopped, you know, looking into any of it because you know, whatever, whatever. But then he got back onto everybody's radar a couple of years later when his house burnt down. Hmm? I know. No. Yes, his house burnt down. Well, he the burnt cause? it down. Or? Uh, the the cause was, I believe, a Mitchell. It was either a like it was some kind of kitchen appliance that was plugged into their spare bathroom because they were fucking hoarders. Yeah, so, yeah, something like do you that. Have, can you do you have any of the pictures of what the state of their house looked uh, like so was, before it burnt down? He's living with his mom. Got footage. Yeah, so this is, is. Does he have a dad in that picture or what? Um, his father might have passed away by this point. I believe he died of a heart attack. So interesting. Wow. I could be, I could be wrong, shit, huh? but the, it was this the state alive. of their house was. Uh, it, w- it could have been on an episode of Hoarders. It was, it was, it was just to the brim with garbage, yeah. with with paper, with boxes, and it was all over the house. The when fire the firefighters happened. came in, they couldn't get through the fucking house because of all the shit that was blocking it. So a lot, a large portion of the house burnt down. But it was due to oh an electrical pl- appliance, like a fucking oh my toaster, God. Oh, yeah. God. or Jeez. or a, a microwave. Oh. Yeah, to all the people that are, are you listening and not they watching, the there out. is Jesus it Christ. is it is mounds and mounds Ticks of garbage recording. everywhere. Um, but yeah, the, the house burnt down and that was in the news for a bit and then more periods of inactivity. Um, but then Chris came back, uh, with an announcement that wow. like they a were Phoenix from the ashes. They, <laughs> <laughs> Sonic literally from, from the ashes. ashes. Dude, it was, you know, the, the announcement was that Chris was no longer Christopher. Christine. Chris uh-huh. was trans. And there was wow. there was actually a surprising amount of support for it um, until Mitchell. Do you want to explain <laughs> the, the, the the piercing? Uh, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so Chris, um, once Chris realized that she was female, she wanted to get her taint pierced. Yeah. So if you can imagine, <laughs> she called it her <laughs> unclit, um, and she wanted to do. Um, What's it called? Oh, like scissoring? She wanted to do scissoring, she with, to do girls. scissoring with girls. Um, uh. So she pierced her taint so that it could pleasure like women's clitorises. I yeah. assume. like this is Chris's word. Um, <laughs> and so yeah, he, she, she she got a, her taint pierced, and and so you can elaborate yeah. on this because so you told me about this. What 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 transpires is that the taint piercing um, gets infected. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it seems like that is the sort of place where you would expect an infection. You'd have a lot of bacteria yeah. getting into your wound. Yeah, feces, shit, yeah, shit, plenty of feces. Um, so it gets infected naturally, um, and then Chris, Chris, Christine falls under the impression <laughs> that her infected wound is merely the start. Of her turning into a female. Oh. Um, uh. Her wound gets infected and it abscesses. So there's a large hole um, I <laughs> previously <laughs> filled with pus. Oh, God. I hate this. And um, she, oh God. she was getting convinced by people, or rather she might have even been convincing herself, that this was simply... God's will to turn her into a woman. <laughs> that sounds like something she was probably convincing herself of. Yeah, yeah. and so to sp- expedite this process, uh, she decided to listen to transsexual binaural beats on YouTube. 
Um, what is that? So, yeah, have, have, that? You, ever heard, oh, you, have you ever heard of binaural uh, beats? No. It's like that shit that you fucking you you put on and you fucking fall asleep with headphones on. It's supposed to be like these weird tones and they're, they're supposed to make you lucid dream. Oh, it's okay. just it's fucking bullshit. But but <laughs> she 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 found one specifically for I guess you know for for trans, and and so she listened to it, and there I believe Mitchell. Was there a video of her? Of oh, her please, like, no. Um, well, please she, no. No, she posted to her Facebook, like, yeah, proving Facebook. to people that she was turning into a woman, yeah, and then so people, was, like, came back was, with concern. She was, yeah, she was fingering her abscess. Dog what? Um, Why? And... <sighs> And she f- I, shared it on Facebook, which, uh, hey, like, good for you. I didn't know why, but my, my mouth is just watering. <laughs> salivating. I'm, gen- I'm genuinely, I can't stop salivating. I'm so sorry. Well, you want to taste? No, it's just unrelated. It's been happening all day. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, sure I thing, swear. buddy. Your thing. <laughs> yeah. No, it is, it, it's insane to think that you can get to that point. And then, you know, at that time where I looked at this, I was like, Oh well, it can't get any worse. Like this is surely the the fucking yeah. dead end. You'd this is that. how, this is how it ends. This is the last we're gonna hear of Chris Chan. Mm. And then, and then, hallelujah, at fucking GameStop, they release the new Sonic series. Remember when they rebooted Sonic? Oh, I do. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, rebooted yeah, yeah. Sonic, right? Yeah. And then, I don't know if you remember how controversial it was, but Sonic's arms. Weren't blue anymore. What? Oh, yeah. I thought I heard some shit about that. Years Sonic's ago. arms True. became tan. Yeah. This really, really upset Christian. Mm. This, right, un- this upset her so unbelievably that when she went into a game shop, she went up to the employee and pointed out a, I believe it was a cardboard cutout of, of Sonic <laughs> with <laughs> the tan arms. And she started like berating him, saying that his arm should be blue and so on and so forth. And then an argument and then like a guy going, hey, man, I pay minimum wage. What the fuck do you want from me? Do you, are you going to buy something or not? She took out a can of pepper spray and what? pepper sprayed the guy. Can you what? Put, can what you the put, fuck? Put, put it up. Put it up on, the, on the screen. That's insane. Put I it up on the screen. see no problem here. Wasn't Yeah, here it is. Well, so how, this is Chris I, Chan. Like uh, that's, that's her. Yep. Um, wow. going around. Look at that. Look at the pace. Look at the on pace. a mission. Yep. And there, yeah, there's the pepper spray. She just and then she walked it's a drive away. by. It was a drive by pepper spray. Oh, come on. Wow. It was a drive by pepper Pathetic. spray. Just like, was a quick squirt on the way out. Oh yeah. <laughs> she really had a so, fuck. I was really impressed with her walking speed. It was. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was quite. Insane. It was quite a pace, especially with that abscess. There's been a lot of controversies <laughs> with Sonic, hasn't now, there? The movie, yeah, what, the yeah. game, Wait, that kid. Can we? Can we just get like a? update on her taint like what where is yeah, it yeah. where is it now <laughs> is it healed like is it look better like is it still a gaping wound like what's going on yeah anyone know do you have an update on that Mitchell? um so yeah so people alerted chris like uh chris you're not turning into a woman like you need to have gender reassignment surgery to get a vagina like this is right. an abscess right. and then chris was like okay i'll go see my doctor uh, a day goes by chris comes back doctor said it's all good Huh? <laughs> so, Chris, Imagine so, being Chris Chan's GP. <laughs> so people don't know if Chris really went to see the doctor or he just made it up or she just made it up. I think um, she made but it up. I, 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 I assume it all eventually healed because if, if you don't treat something like that, Chris would yeah. be in immense yeah. like, pain Surely every day. She would just be dead if it wasn't treated. Yeah, yeah it would have so. it would have right. it would have probably sealed. I hope. All right. Ugh, All flex right. It's good to know. Sorry, I didn't mean to yeah. bring that back no, up. No, no, it's to fine. I mean, yeah. I think you would want, you'd want to know the state of the taint, wouldn't you? Yeah. State of the taint. <laughs> but yeah. So <laughs> nice, Ryan. you would think that after committing an assault on a fucking poor GameStop employee just trying to do his job, give people $5 for 30 games, the whole, uh, yeah. the whole deal, yeah. um, that it would be put to bed, you know, and and if I recall, did she catch charges for that? Did she catch an assault charge, Mitchell? <laughs> yeah, she probably. probably want a charge. I think <laughs> <laughs> Chris has been charged with so many things. I, I think I think that one is probably. I think that one she probably got a, a charge for. I know she did get uh, charged uh, as well as Barbara for yeah. hit and running the, the game place guy. They That's tried to right. hit him with, the, they, with they their hit car. They hit him with the car. Yeah, they ran away. The guy charged. <laughs> yeah. That was another. That was that was yeah, that was back. Before all that, but so, man, I don't, I can't really remember if there was anything between the pepper spray 
and him allegedly raping his mom. <laughs> <laughs> I, isn't it interesting how you know this is a person that was kind of taken advantage of by the internet kind of a helpless person that's sort of just been yeah treated horribly by people and then later in her life she fucking takes advantage of a helpless yeah. person in her wow. own way allegedly isn't that no, a, a curious little fact maybe perhaps some you either attempt to regain power you either die a hero or you rape or your you, mom or you, <laughs> long, yeah. you live long enough to rape your mom <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck, Jesus. I, mean, I get to work on this hero thing. I really, <laughs> I don't want to go the other way at all. Um, <laughs> you just kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> just anything to prevent that possibility. Holy of shit. First but time for, all, for all the people that are like, oh, how do you know he raped his mom? He fucking, she admitted it. She fucking and, admitted and, it. In a phone call, correct? Do, do you have the audio, Mitchell? Can we play the audio? Uh, guys, uh, I raped my mom. <laughs> I don't think we can play the audio. We can't play the audio? No. Um, so here's a reenactment of what it was. I, I heard the audio. Yeah, it was a sort of. Do you what? have a Do you have a transcript of the audio or anything? Uh, yeah, I think I, this is pretty important for the context because this think, is. Was there like text messages? This This would be Chris's admission of guilt for participating in incest. Uh, mm. With his mom, and to be honest, it isn't that bad. She's eighty; she's fucking not meant to, you know, pre postmenopausal. Well, you know, that could be argued that it was it was pretty bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you could probably argue it. <laughs> yeah, but like, if you're eighty, like you take you take what you can get, you know. <laughs> so we have that, so we have that transcript or what? <laughs> I'm just saying. It's I'm kind just, of fucked up. I'm that just playing devil's advocate. It's kind of fucked up that we're calling a script a transcript just because he's trans. <laughs> oh, <laughs> True. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> guys, come on. Oh man. Very interesting character. This Christian fella. It's gal. Christian yeah. I mean, yeah. we, we barely scraped right. the surface with that shit. This is nothing compared to the to the sagas. The the absolute sagas. There's a website. There's a fucking website called Sonitude.com. Very hard to access because of how many people are looking at it yeah, at the moment. There is a there there are sagas. Yeah, Christian Wesh and so the C W C is his initials. Um you you call it Quickie. And the town in Sonitude is called Quickieville. Okay. So these are it's very interesting. Well these are quick chronologists. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Was Sonitude fast? Yeah. And Whoa. did lightning. And did lightning too. Both. Yeah. Best of both worlds. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Insane. Continue. What a character, right? So there, there, so you original. can see on this website on sonicu.com, uh, if you go to the saga, there are a t there's a timeline of sagas since 2005, and it goes all the way to just about 2019. And there, oh my god, my fucking page just, <laughs> just fucking crashed. Scrolling down this list of all of the different periods of time and the and the interactions and all the different... Yeah, there it is. What, like, what's it's a, an official what, thing. What's so a misanthrope? Can, what does that mean? Misanthrope? That's what it's... I love my dictionary at home. Misanthrope. Misanthrope? I think so. What's first exile? What the fuck is it? Yeah, the first what? exile would have been... Why? That would have been 2000 and... Yeah, in between 2010. What? So what was the start of the first... Yeah, that would have been... This is Cl insane. Yeah, Clyde Leakes emails. So there was something about that. The 9-11 yeah. video September. What? If you go what? if you go all the way up... Oh, to the top? Yeah, to the top. Yeah. Like, we'll just read out some of the sagas. So there's the saga begins. This is the... Uh, Megan, the Megan, so on, the Megan song. On the left here is where he has his sweethearts, and these are all the other trolls. Oh, yeah, so yeah. sweethearts and trolls. So you have all these different trolls, uh, all the different responses, all, all uh, a, a oh, million shit. different. Like, There's look, so much stuff from, there. From twenty, from two thousand and nine to about. Oh, there's the medallion getting destroyed. Yeah, the, the medallion fake one. getting destroyed. Who's Ryan been, Cash? These would have been trolls. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, Clyde Cash. It's would suicide. that have been what? Oh my there's goodness. so much there's yeah. so much that I just so much that even I am not fully aware of the scope it there there are besides the down the, the rabbit hole but besides the, the down the rabbit hole <laughs> Asper video like, Whoa, wait, there I'm is just... like a 50 to 100 episodic series Mitch, on YouTube about it Mitchell gave us a document here with a few bit of information I'm just kind of perusing it. At Here it says, Chris's most oh. notable period of activity on the internet occurred between 2007 and 2010 and this time he was duped by a sadistic 13-year-old into stuffing his medallion up his ass. What? We missed that. Yeah, that would have <laughs> been true point. as well. 
a 13 year old he had his yeah, identity yeah. stolen the 13 year old was uh the person that what he the sent the video fuck? of him fucking oh my blob, god because yeah. he the 13 year old was pretending to be a uh boyfriend free girl and all oh the trolls god. spoofed uh, his comic as well so there must be a bunch of spoofs out there yeah, yeah. Tree, which he would have I, I presume not liked very much yeah yeah mm. okay um so what so, do we have here so this is the oh man <laughs> that's that's it just oh man it's all the only thing you yeah can say. okay so <laughs> chris vaguely describes the relationship on the 5th of july uh these were sent but they were leaked on the 31st um let's see yeah so this is yeah, he misleads the person the true nature of the relationship, lying by omission and leaving out key details to manipulate uh, the person into believing the relationship was simply a matter between Chris and an older woman. So this is the uh, oh, <laughs> this what? is the tra- <laughs> this is the transcript that we're going to read out. Oh God! Uh, so Chris says, now. I also have a major update to share with you, strictly confidential. The past week of the Sunday the 27th has been a major game changer for the positive with me. I tell you this in strictest confidence and trust. I do not want word of this on the Kiwi or going public. I'm not sure what Kiwi is referring to. Uh, Kiwi Farms. Kiwi Farms, okay. Well, it's public now. Okay, But I had sex with someone last week, someone of this half of our universe... I worked thoroughly and compassionately with her beforehand, and at present, she's physically older than I. If heard, one may say this is something out of an anime or fan fiction, but yeah, keeping her safe as well. Also, next appointment will be on the 20th with my doctor, so I'll get checked then to be safe. Condoms are being used in intercourse. This relationship was something I have extensively given much deep thought and within myself. I had foreseen this among the infinite possible outcomes long ago. I no longer believe in labels that would hinder, and I do not listen to those shadows. This was my own choice and acceptance, and I have no regrets. This feels right and good with I and her. And then someone, the response was, really? How'd you meet? And Chris goes oh, on to say, well... I met her a while ago and was not fully aware <laughs> really? at yeah. the time. And my ally Dites guided me to seek her out and make things go further with great no. effort. We have talked off and on during this time in person behind a considerable camouflage. She was, but she was honest in her emotions. She wanted to be with me as well. Mutual feelings on good rapport. This relationship has been from the start offline and in person, I assure you. And to which the person responds... Do you have a picture of you and this girl? <laughs> Chris responds to Woof. Pressing hard for details. I do have photos of my lady friend, but I feel it too personal at this time. I did mention she was older than I. She in the over fifties. And she okay. definitely does not want to be spread around. As one of my more curious followers may have found through my Amazon by now, I even recently purchased a valuable and informative book to add additional guidance. And the book, the title of this book is The Ultimate Guide to Sex and Disability. Wait, what? people could follow what he buys on Amazon? Apparently so. What the fuck? Got a lot of information. For all, this is for all of us who live with disabilities, chronic pain, and illness, which is great. This so is a little, so little book plug there for all you guys. So his deities. So he was deities. convinced, or yeah, he was convinced by other people well, to do it. Guides. By gods. By gods. Um, yeah. And I assume by those divine are power. his followers. Or it could be voices in, voices in their head. Uh, head or, um, wow. So then this person says, I'm not trying to press you. Just curious. It's good you're both into things like anime. And then he responds, actually, she doesn't watch much anime. (laughs) Or animated series or even television these days, for that matter. Adam West was one of her favorite people back in the 60s. However, it was, however, as it was for her son back then. And then she responds, well, that's cool. I hope it works out. And then he says... It is, smiley face. I have found great appreciation for her in reading her deeply and in listening to her stories and life adventures. Her high school days were quite fun for her. An intellectual she is, worked a lot in numbers and accounting. Also, you may note what I have told you of my lady friend so far and in future. I would kindly want you to figure it out for yourself, as also the few others have confided strictly with this detail. Um, 
then, then he gives two names. Or the two others who have additional clues, and I've mentioned this to my doctor without mentioning her name directly at all in any event. I will see my doctor on the 20th and get tested to confirm a lack of STDs. She and I have a romps in the sack every three nights at the present. It does give her something to look forward to. She is very grateful, and I am also appreciative fuck? in being able to enlighten her with sex plays she missed out on from even her exes. And then somebody, you know, the response was, you should definitely not tell anyone who she is. It'll only complicate the relationship if people start harassing her. And to which she responded... No, come on. Obviously. Wow. And uh, <laughs> it's a good sign you've kept it a secret, but don't risk it. And then he says, yes, shh. We are safe as long as none of this, even the obscure details, get leaked at all in public view or on Kiwi. Oh, that would be a shame. And Jesus. that is pretty much the end uh, uh, it says here <laughs> that apparently this. he was also stealing money from his mother's bank he account. He was. He, she was. Which is probably how he bought money. that expensive book. Wait, so in that he <laughs> never admitted it was his... It was never admitted it was his mom, but then they worked it out. And I mean, he never said know, it, but he pretty much implied he pretty it much in implied, multiple ways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, that shit will be used in court, most Damn, likely. Wow. Which yeah, is that, quite, there yeah. There was a phone call on July 30th that revealed everything, but it's, it's quite long. Yeah, well, there's no need to read it. I mean, we... Yeah. We all know he allegedly raped his mom, guys. <laughs> yeah. We all know he allegedly did it. Okay. Yeah, but apparently he was enabled by a few people, too. Someone called Bella? Who the hell's that? Some random troll, I think. Troll, maybe. Talking to him. Maybe it was the person he was talking to. Yeah, there were people that were actually, despite the obvious risk and danger to his mother, these people egged him on and kept mm, telling him yeah, to do yikes. it. Which um, is fucking awful, because, you know, in, in, in the event that those people are found, yeah. like... You kind of deserve to be a fucking accessory to yeah. to this crime, yeah. you yeah. fucking psycho. Yeah, total pieces of shit. On uh, August 1st, Chris was arrested outside the Regency Inn he was staying at, and the next day he was officially charged for incest. So, okay. there you go. D like, I wonder if the mom was in on it, as in, like, I, wonder if, you she, mean? I yeah. wonder if she was into it or if maybe she was like you know she just felt sorry for her son and was like i'm just gonna do him a solid we should get her on the podcast yeah nice. let's get her on <laughs> oh god <laughs> i don't want to look at that yeah it's very scary oh my goodness it's um it is horrifying it is disgusting yeah it is interesting it is like a train wreck mm. but the thing is with train wrecks it is human nature to not look away and that is Chris. That is that is pretty much Christian to this point. We, there were a lot of gaps in between that were absolutely not filled out <laughs> whatsoever. There yeah, was so yeah. much more. Mitchell mm. sent us, was it a nine-page document? Well, yeah, I was writing up the document. Then I was like, this is too much information. Like, it took me two hours to read through it all. Like, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a hell of a lot. I can, I, I'll scroll through it and, and see if there's anything that we could touch on that may not have been... I mean, I think we forgot to touch on Chris's upbringing. Like, I think Chris's upbringing is the reason why he is like this today. That like, I'm very curious happen, about yeah. that. His, his mm. parents had him at a very, like, old... Old they age. were very old. They were in their and, 50s, I think. Yeah, and when yeah. Chris's brother was 17, they were like, get out of here. Like, go live your own life. Don't stay with us. Um, and they to were his like, brother or to Chris? Uh, to Chris's brother, yeah. So oh. so Chris's brother is like, um, he like completely avoids the family because there's very clearly something wrong with this family. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. Like, this family has a lot yeah. of... I mean, like, the, the hoarding <laughs> is like part of their issues. Yeah. Like, Yeah. So no one's really heard from the brother since then? Uh, Chris and his brother have been in contact. Uh, Chris's brother was like, I won't talk to, um, mom or you again, unless, uh, uh, your dad's out of the picture because Chris's dad isn't his brother's dad. If you oh. understand. Yeah. Mm. So there's obviously some sort of issue with Chris's dad, but it's all up to speculation and Oof. armchair psychology. Like, you know what I yeah, mean? So, a bunch of fucking weirdos on the internet being yeah. like, oh yeah, I watched the fucking hour long criminal psychology co fucking Insane. video. <laughs> you know, <laughs> have you seen that shit? JCS, all of you uh, recommended? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like yeah. how you're talking about these weirdos objectively, like you're not those same weirdos. As <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, you know? just a detailed, like, <laughs> hour long. Yeah, like, so look, clearly into as, the shit. Look, as, a, as a person, like, and especially, like, you know, growing up, you know, especially around the time where this shit was really popping, like, 
I never, you know, I never fucking participated. I thought the people that participated were fucking awful. But at the same time, I was so intrigued by yeah. the way that this all played out. And a morbid curiosity. It, it, well, precisely. It's like when you fucking, it's like when you see a fucking car accident on the road, you yeah. want to slow down and look to see if there's any fucking head spaghetti stuck to the fucking windshield. Not, not to see if people are okay. Yeah, that's not generally. <laughs> <laughs> it's spaghetti. Right. Gotcha. Yeah, but that's 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 the thing that is so <coughs> interesting with it all. It's just this fuck. It's just this. It's just this fuck. It's like a cesspool of shit. Yeah, God, you can't really make much sense. <laughs> of yeah, it. it's a, it's a it's an infected taint piercing. Oh, my goodness, it's Christ. fucking awful. Wow, it is truly something awful. This so. is truly the taint of the history books right here. <laughs> I I, I want to know how many comics there were. I want to know if he's still going to make them in prison. I want to know, like, is there what, signed copies? Yeah, like, what well, they, are, are these rare. shits? Can you get them laminated? Like, his, what? his medallion, um, he actually sold, I think it was 250 of the medallion that he wore. Did he shove them all up his ass? First? <laughs> <laughs> they they, they were the all first. handmade by them, by, by him. I'd buy one and sold on Etsy. And we were, we were saying before the podcast, th those have got to be worth so much now. You'd imagine you get one, you ice it out. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be, that'd be fire. Fucking sick. Sonichu. That'd be dope. Got Sonichu on my neck. I wonder how much <laughs> yeah, like how much money you could get for selling one of those at this point. Like there's gotta be people out there that'll be willing to spend a lot of money. I mean I'm that. sure they'd be pretty <laughs> easy to spoof. I mean I yeah, sure. like they're yeah, like they're, they're numbered and signed, I think. Yeah, well I mean it wouldn't be hard to spoof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's Damn. fucking not it's a match to crash it's not like you're trying to fucking redo a Gucci bag or something that's true you're making it you're like fuck too good it's gonna yeah. make it worse <laughs> <laughs> fucking hit it with a hammer it'd be like, much better uh, Matt, shut up your ass a couple of times it is it is really wild how you know and let this be a lesson to all of you people online um, especially if you're autistic and write comic books and you're looking for a boyfriend free girl uh, don't do that just, just don't expose yourself. If you, if you're like, you know, a, a father or a mom or even a sibling to, uh, to, to like a, you know, somebody who's who, who's vulnerable online, uh, protect them. Just be aware. Just be yeah. aware and protect them. <laughs> don't let your wounded cub walk through the open field. You know? No, like it's basically yeah. what's happening there. Yeah. And also, like, can we talk about how differently things could have panned out if just some nice young female. Yeah. Answered his flyer yeah. back in university. Apparently, apparently that did happen, but then oh. he fucking ruined it by by talking about her and also uh. drawing her nude in in his comic books. Uh. Yeah, Chrissy, 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 come on, you can't be doing that. No, that's not what you meant to do. Right. Come on, that's not oh, Chris. Someone needed to write him a guide or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he needs to go to a pickup yeah. artist or something. <laughs> Rouge V or whatever. That would be a great... I would love to see, like, a pickup artist working with someone like Chris Chan over a video series. Just fucking trying to get him... <laughs> that would actually be really, really interesting. I would be like, wow, what if, what if he just becomes a player? I mean, what if yeah. he actually becomes a chat? Hmm. Oh, Incredible. She's very similar to you in that she's a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Very similar. <laughs> On that note, and she's trans. And she, well, that's exactly it. She's a trans lesbian. Okay, which I thought was great point. Which I thought was kind of interesting. And I also have a form that you can fill out to apply to be my girlfriend. So. Oh. You're not making comic books or anything, are you? No, I make okay. I, I uh, make comic books, but it's nothing like it's not, It's a graphic novel. Yeah, you it, piece uh, of shit. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, this has certainly been a graphic podcast. By the way, yeah, right. wow. Most Holy graphic shit. of novels, man. But no, it is. It is. I just thought it was interesting, and considering that he was in the news for allegedly raping his mother, I figured, you know, why not bring this awesome little silly uh, story on the show? It's, it's awesome. a hell of a song. Yeah, it was very silly. Very <laughs> silly. <laughs> I certainly feel silly. worse about everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we we covered like five percent, like not even. Uh, we, yeah. like, wow. we, we, well, yeah. we didn't you have done the surface at all. Yeah. Mitchell, you have extensively researched for this podcast. Is there anything that we've missed that you feel is worth? I mean, so I, I could bring up so many things, but it's just a it's a rabbit hole. Like just bring everything. Up, bring, up one. bring up one. Okay, so what all kicked this off was Miyamoto uh, email uh, Christian uh, uh, the. Do you guys know who Miyamoto Nintendo. is? Yeah, made made right. Legend of Zelda, uh -huh. and and he was like, "Hey, Chris, I'm pissed off that you're using Pikachu and Sonic. Really? Don't don't do that." So Chris goes, "I'm so sorry." Chris makes an apology to Miyamoto, 
And that's where this all kicked off. And his apology is hilarious. He's Wait, just, all kicked off as in white? From white point onward to this so like the raping, internet discovered raping Yeah, so, so that was the first oh! saga. That was the first saga was uh, Miyamoto wow. uh, trolling Ooh. Chris or someone pretending to be Miyamoto. Oh, so it was uh, it was someone trolling. Cause yeah. so it wasn't actually Miyamoto. <laughs> no, it wasn't, no, I don't I think Miyamoto. I was going to say, it's classic or... Nintendo. Like, they're always so up their ass <laughs> yeah. about copyright. Yeah. 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 They're really going to target an autistic fucking... But everyone was so blown mind. away by the fact that he apologized apologize so formally to Miyamoto and hope that they could work together on future business plans um, <laughs> that they were like alright this guy can this guy is easily to fool this guy is very oh, easy to I fuck with and they, they used him as their entertainment for years and years at the detriment of his health social life and happiness and he let it consume him mm. cheerful kind of pog champ. probably a lot of stories like this that weren't uh, so heavily documented which is a shame <laughs> right yeah which is pretty fucked yeah. up <laughs> Yeah. A shame that we couldn't learn about it. <laughs> yeah. The internet was a very scary Yeah, place. it's a shame that we couldn't enjoy it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame, shame we couldn't look at that car wreck and see if there's any severed heads. Look, man, I'm just... I'm just... I, I think all of those things are absolutely reprehensible, but I can't... I can't deny that the spectacle is just that. Okay, let me ask you all a, phil a philosophical mm -hmm. question. Mm. It's kind of like one of those pull the lever on the train tracks questions, you know? Right. Okay. Is Chris, can you really blame Chris Chan for raping his mother? Uh, <laughs> like, are we really gonna, are yeah. we really gonna demonize him for this? Yeah. Are we gonna be like, you know what? That's fucked up. Yeah, like, I'm gonna say that's Chris fucked Chan? up. I'm gonna say fuck Chris Chan. You're actually gonna say I'm that? Gonna say that. I'm, gonna say I'm, gonna, fucked up. I'm gonna say that too. It's pretty I, fucked up. A little bit I think fucked it's up. fucked up. I don't think that I don't know if I can really blame him. I think, <laughs> I, think like, this, I think this all could have been avoided if prostitution yeah. was legal in the United oh. States. Uh, uh, maybe that's what the money was coming out of her bank account. What if she was paying him? <laughs> the sex. I mean, she was in a sense because he was just raiding uh, her accounts and having sex with her. Yeah. So it's kind of like forced prostitution, maybe. Yeah. Don't know if that's a real thing. Forced <laughs> prostitution. <laughs> don't know if that legitimately counts. <laughs> I'm um, just going to imagine in my head that they actually had a, just a really nice relationship. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was fully consensual. She did have dementia, so that's hard to believe. Did she have dementia? Yes. Oh, yeah, gotcha. She did have dementia, so mm. maybe they just went on a lot of first dates and all those first dates <laughs> ended in sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, well, let's, 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 let me ask you another train track philosophical question. Yeah. If you're 80 years old and you yeah. have dementia and you live in a house that's falling apart with shit everywhere, you don't really have a lot that gives you joy on a day to day basis. And even yeah. if you did, you can't remember it really that well. You know? Yeah, where are you going with this? <laughs> Smash your pass. Yeah. So if your son comes along and gives you a cheeky orgasm from time to time, are you mad? Nah. No. Probably like, not. Probably not. Or is that actually. actually a highlight of your life at the end? Yeah, like she's not going to have kids. What does it matter yeah. that it's incest? Yeah, like literally the, the whole thing that makes incest bad on a yeah. societal level is removed from the equation. Yeah. You know, she ain't putting on any more babies. There's no yeah. more yeah. little Chris Chan's going to yeah. be brought into the world from this. These are two people, two adults in their shitty home fucking has having a bit of a cum. Having <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a cum. I just having a bit of a cum. And like, sure, like we can be like privileged. I see a look of disgust on Matt's face. <laughs> <laughs> we could be like, I look down on this. This is gross. But that is having a bit of a cum. I'm literally having a cum. Like, yes. And that ain't so that bad. I just to see how long he's going to hold that there. <laughs> that ain't that bad. Like, it ain't that bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. I don't think he should go to prison. And honestly, I just want the best for Christian. I I, I feel terrible about his, the yeah. life that he's lived I and mean, the way he's been taken advantage of by the internet. You know, if you're ever in a situation where you may be having intercourse with your own mother and you're running out of energy, <laughs> maybe then you can go ahead and go to GamerSubs.gg and get yourself some awesome this is energy a drinks. Different ad, but for when, I mean, for when you're fatigued and bad or out of bed, or if you want to write something down, or maybe you know, a comic, I'm, I'm unplugging maybe, my maybe a comic, maybe a bit of then, a comic. Then go to go to GamerSubs.gg, grab yourself a beautiful, beautiful. What's your favorite flavor? Chris Chan had sex with his mother. I love ga <laughs> gamer subs. Um, Misfits Melon is fantastic. If you like, if you like, just some nice, beautiful honeydew, just caressing your lips like maybe uh, an abscess taint. She was um, eighty. She was eighty <laughs> years old. Had dementia. And, 
you could go to gamersubs.gg and you could grab yourself an awesome you a little waifu cup. Waifu imagine shaker the smell cups. of that taint. Waifu shaker cups are here and they're so great. True. And and I wonder uh, if he says it using, <laughs> using oh yeah, oh, that's a good point. Got that yeah, she, she's she's actually uh, oh, it's yeah. actually lesbian rape. Using code misfits for ten percent off or your order. I, I don't know. On gamersubs.gg, yeah. you can you can have great energy all day every day. And I hey, if he use lube. Does he still have yeah, probably the semen? Does he keep the semen? <laughs> Does he keep the semen? Do we know if they have a penis? Gamer subs. I think they still have a penis. Yeah, ah. probably on this. Oh man, who knows? Man. Say you're next door. It's expensive. Say, yeah. say, say you're in a room, and next to that room is another bedroom, and you hear your brother and your mom having some kind of some kind of romp, <laughs> some kind of interesting things, maybe mm. some gross sounds you don't want to hear. Go to JBL <laughs> and pick up the fucking awesome this. JBL Go Quantum <laughs> headphones. I wonder if she was loud. These power. <laughs> The Misfits podcast, and they can power you. <laughs> the headphones light up. The headphones light up. That's right. My Just like my right eyes. Now, but everyone else is doing. Comfortable. And um, I believe we still have some JBL speakers mm. for Australia and New. Is it just Australia? Or is it always New Zealand? Just Australia. Just if you're Ooh, in Australia and you want to grab some JBL, uh, JBL scuffed custom Misfit speakers and go over to jbl.com.au. If, if you're in New Zealand, give it, it a go anyway, because I'm pretty sure it actually does work in New Zealand. Maybe, maybe. Just try and buy it. Just yeah. fucking buy it. Give, give, it, give, it, a, give it a squeeze. Buy it. Give it a squeeze. Give it a rub. Give it a lick. Give it a scissor. <sighs> All right. Well, we're Give been... it a break. <laughs> Give it a fucking break. <laughs> wow. We've been the Misfits, and this has been how Chris Chan met his mother. <laughs> um, hit sitcom coming out soon. Yeah. <laughs> Anything yeah. to add? Everybody oh. hates Chris. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> hates I'm Chris. I'm personally on Team Chris, so I fuck with him. <coughs> I hope he uh, free my boy Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think he should go to jail. That's my moral stance. Fuck anyone who disagrees with me. Let's argue about it on Twitter. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, I no. Let's talk about it for another thirty minutes. Why do you think you should go to prison? Um. Fair point. Yeah. See, you actually can't think of a legitimate reason other than that it's gross. Did he do anything we don't illegal? Send people to prison well, yeah, he, for being gross. He, <laughs> not really, aside from that, he did he do anything his illegal? Mother. Yeah, but allegedly. Like, okay, listen. We're the ones who have inserted rape into the discussion. Yeah. He allegedly had sex with his mother. Okay. But you know, she's got the men. Yeah. Rape is a different kind of thing. All right, not yeah. been saying he raped his mother because it's kind of funny. Yeah, but we don't she know. Had dementia. Yeah, but that she doesn't had... necessarily mean it was rape. That's right. Yes, can... it totally does. Does that mean that the people with dementia can't have any sex? Yeah. Yeah. yeah pretty much. So what? what? So if you have I... dementia, then what? No sex for you? Boo hoo. Well, I wouldn't know where the, what fucking planet I'm on unless yeah. I have like a moment well, of. Well, whatever planet I'm on, I was sure as hell hope there's orgasms there. Because what the fuck else am I living for? But would they remember what orgasms are if you have dementia? Doesn't matter. Yeah, bro. but that's the best part. That's Every the best orgasm part. they have is the best yeah. one. When they have dementia, had. don't you remember? Like you don't remember who like your own family and shit is. Yeah, he, she just yeah. thought he was some charming yeah. little little trans so woman. He she took advantage of that. It's so hard to yeah. correctly gender. Yeah, they it's, took advantage of that personally. Chris Chan's mm -hmm. been taking advantage of his whole life. I hope he takes advantage of. And everyone he meets for the rest of his life, he's earned it. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Misfits podcast. Thank you for watching. Where we on Spotify a week early on YouTube. If you if you like, sure, leave us a five star review, and uh, don't fuck your mom. Or do. Or do. You know? It's morally okay. <laughs> oh wow! Bye the, everyone. The great area podcast. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.